As a background information, I used to struggle with low self-esteem in the past and I've done a whole video talking about how I eventually overcame it right here. And now I am the most confident in my body than I have ever been. And I believe that these are the things that have helped me get to this point. The first tip, ditch the scale. What I mean by this is focus on process goals rather than outcome goals. Unlike outcome goals, which emphasizes the end results, process goals focus on the journey and the activities that lead to success. Process goals are within your control and can be broken down into manageable tasks or milestones and is more sustainable long term. Practically applying this to your fitness goals, an example of an outcome goal is saying you'd lose 50 pounds in a month. If you say that you're far less likely to be consistent or hit your goal when the number stops moving on the scale. In fact, you're far more likely to do unhealthy things like ingest drugs or drinks that could harm your health just to see the number on the scale shift you'll obsess over the number on the scale and you'll end up not enjoying the journey and not hitting your goal or hitting your goal and then relapsing afterwards however if you decide to work out or take a walk four to five times a week or maybe make intermittent fasting a lifestyle or whatever you'd find that you drop the weight naturally if losing weight is your goal and if gaining weight is your goal just deciding to be intentional about eating three square meals daily will eventually help you reach your goal over time choosing process goals will help you make those goals a habit will help you enjoy the process more and will eventually help you not just hit your goals but maybe even surpass them the second tip is based on a principle known as the pareto principle or the 80 20 rule it is a concept that states that roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. It was originally proposed by Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto in the late 19th century when he observed that approximately 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the population. Over time, this principle has been generalized and applied to multiple fields including business, productivity, and so on. But I have found that it can be applied to your health goals as well. How I have used this principle to hit my fitness goals is by identifying the most important thing that I need to do to drive the most results. When you decide to take your health seriously and you go online, you'd be bombarded with all kinds of information. And it can be pretty overwhelming or intimidating figuring out where to start. But if you identify that one thing that you can do regarding your fitness that will have a sounding effect on all other decisions you make regarding your health you're likely to see your goals through to the end for me it's exercise even just taking walks regularly can make me more intentional about what i eat and other aspects of my health this is obviously going to be different for everyone but the moment that you figure out what your one thing is you're one step closer to hitting your fitness goals thirdly involve other people I found that I enjoy working out even more when I'm doing it with others. It's easier to be consistent with your fitness goals when you have other people keeping you accountable. It could be a fitness coach, getting registered at the gym, involving your friends or family members, maybe going on walks or runs together, and so on. This may not be practical for everyone, however, it's worth a try. And finally, this is a bonus tip. Wear clothes that suit your body type. You see, when you look good, you feel good and you're more likely to put in the work to maintain your body. There are clothes for every body type, so figure out your personal style and choose clothes that flatter your body. And when you see that you look good, you'll be motivated to put in the work to keep on feeling that way. In conclusion, when people say love your body or love yourself, it's easier said than done. Especially in this social media age where you're constantly bombarded with figures to compare yourself with at your fingertips. However, when you're putting in effort, even if just a little bit, your brain recognizes that and so it's easier to be content or satisfied whilst on your fitness journey. And that consistent effort will lead you to not just growing to love yourself, but also to making, taking care of yourself yourself a lifestyle. Remember that you're the picture of perfection in God's eyes regardless of what people say and I'm rooting for you. If you enjoyed this video then you definitely enjoy this video right here. See you there.